All right, so there's a couple different. You only have 20 faders, but there's different playback modes, channel modes for this. So I'm gonna bring everything down. So on the screen, we want to control individually, which is probably what you want to do. So you see that channel one through 20 is yeah. lit up. Um, if I, it could be on playback, but let's go ahead and select that, lit them up. So if I bring up light two, fader, it's gonna bring the light up. Right. It's different ways I can click on the touch screen to do it as well with the virtual wheel and it'll show me the percentage in the top and that does the same thing as hitting the buttons mm -hmm. and using the slider yep if you prefer but before I ask you before we get too deep into this mm -hmm. on that screen there how do I know like are there different modes of operation that I should be aware of first like you know when I come to this screen what's the first thing I should do you should see this if you don't like if you're on a page like this and you don't see it if you hit this little like this grid mark yeah it will take you back to your fixture chooser okay so that's the it. first page got yep. it okay um so you know which fader page you're in which channel mode these are doing or which what these faders are going to do based on what's selected either channel mode or playback mode. okay so um if you want to select multiple fixtures you see it starts selecting say i want three through i want all those up I can select them. I didn't select them here. Just hit the little bump buttons below it. Yeah. And now I'm going to do this. Let's bring in those up. Okay. Another way, I'm going to clear all real quick. Another way is if you go controls yep. and then keypad, you can go, okay, I want fixture two at 100% or 100 and then enter. That brings it. Okay. So these aren't motorized faders. So even if I have this down and I do. Keypad two at 100. The light's at 100%, but my fader's down. So just be aware of that. It will show you a visual representation of like how bright it is, how intense it is with if it's backlit or not. So you see okay. that goes down, yeah. it's a little dimmer. So um, if you have all your faders down, you're like, why is there stuff on if all of this is up? If they did it from the screen. Okay. Does that make sense? Yep. Okay. Show me how to get to the preset that Chris recorded. Yes. So we want to switch the channel, the faders, to a different playback mode or to a different mode. So we're going to go playback. Mm -hmm. So we're in playback one, and here are the different presets that we had. So I think 18 was everything. Let's just green screen. So 19, I think, is your... I, shot I, mean, I think it was 16 plus 17 equals 18, or 17 plus 18 equals 19. 16 looks like it's the two interviews. But the idea is to hit the playback button and then the slider with the preset. How do I know that uh, when I hit go to playback, how do I know what's available for playback? Oh, I see the buttons so change yeah, color. So yeah, what's backlit, yeah, with okay. purple is what is it you don't have to hit the button if you don't want just fade it all the way up and it shows me on this screen here what lights it's controlling yep so it's and back. when i bring it up 100 percent like you just did does it bring the lights up to 100 percent, or does it do the preset which i think it, he said was 85 it or brings something. it to the max of what was what we had what was so recorded yep so i can show Perfect. you how to record a preset if you want actually when i walked in earlier um you were on a different page which is why i don't think you could find them um, so this may be a way, if I hit this playback one, it's going to bring up sequence, sequence rate, or select page. So if I hit select page and go playback two, there's nothing recorded to playback two. And I can tell that because none of the buttons no, is purple. Okay. Yep. Um, so you want to be on page one. Okay. And so there, if you have a bunch have of seeds, purples. you could do 10 pages with a bunch of these. Um, so, but yeah, if you, do, if you go to playback and you don't see any purple backlit, then you're probably on the wrong Perfect. page. So we play back one is what you want. Um, let me show you how to make a um, playback. So let's create a look. I'm going to clear everything out. Oops. I'm going to go clear. I just like to clear all. Yep. Takes everything out. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and just create a generic look. So create the look you want, the intensities. All right. But before we go any farther, what um, mode are you in? I went, to, I went back to channel mode. Yep. Okay. okay. So to control individually, you have to go back to channel mode. So I'm in channel mode. I'm going to create my look. Say it's those. Just like on my phone, you click and drag. All right, we're there. So this is my look. 
that I want to make. And I see that as you enlarge that, it shows you the percent. Okay. Yep. Okay. So that's my look. That's my look. So there's two ways of doing this. My my favorite way is just going to record, edit, and then you can either hit playback memory or if you see on here, purple will show me where there's playbacks already. Uh -huh. Green shows me I can record. Okay. Else. If I want to record over something, it will ask me. So if I say I want to record over twenty, it's going to say, "Are, are you sure?" Yeah. I don't want to, no. but I'm going to say no. But if I did, I'll, I'd hit green. Okay. So you're going to hit this button or it's a touch screen. So let's uh, hit no. I'm going to hit no. And let's record it on number one. So one, so I'm going to go record playback. I'm just going to hit record edit. And it automatically bumps me over to playback page. Yep. And I'm just going to hit one. So now I'm going to clear all this out. And it's clear done? That's, you don't get a confirmation? You don't get a confirmation. Okay. So I'm going to clear all. And now when you go back to playback, uh -huh. number one will show purple. So I'm going to bring it up. Right and there we are. Perfect. That's exactly what I wanted to do. learn. Okay, cool. Um, let me show you color on this. I don't think these turn color, do they? No, oh, color, like the temperature. color temperature. Okay. Um, I don't remember which one we ended up at this one. But, so with the lights selected that you want to change the color temp to. Yep. So let's just go one and two and three. If I hit this little teardrop parameters page, yep. it's going to bring me here. So I'm going to go color. Yep. There's three little tabs. This one's not going to be useful for you guys. This is chips that we can record over. Yep. I'm going to go here. And in color temp, we'll have to slide it. You can slide it up from 0 to 255. 255 will be... Um, Daylight. Yeah, right. 5600. Okay. So that's that one. Um, the other, your backlights, will give you a defined. Um, I don't know which ones the backlights are on here. Uh, 10 was a backlight, I okay. believe. Yeah, so I'll just do 12. Um, so I'm going to select 12. In here, in the color, if I hit this color temp, so it's saying 2750. Yeah. If I hit this, in here I can see all the different color tips. So I'm going to slide over. And is, this is because it's a different kind of light? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so your back lights are desisty fixtures and all your front lights are um, light panels. Okay, so just, got it. The profile is built a little differently. Um, so I'm going to so select 5600 the and then it'll be at 5600. Okay, when it does that, that's this current state right now. Mm -hmm. I haven't changed anything. I could apply this to, I could call up a preset, a play, a playback, mm -hmm. and then tweak it. I could tweak individual lights while it's sitting there on playback number 17. Yes. Okay. Yep. Okay. Um, yeah, so you probably would want to do that, pull up your playback, make your changes, and then probably re-record re it. Re-record it, yeah. Um, if I want to be able to reuse it. Okay. Yeah. And and so to change the color, again, what, what mode do you need to be in? So you're going to hit this little teardrop. So but channel mode. Channel mode channel and mode. teardrop. Yep. Okay. Select your fixture and then... Right. To drop. Um, if you find a color, let's say you have, um, let's select a light. So say you find a preset that you want, you find a color that works. You're like, I like this color temp, and you don't want to keep clicking this yeah. every time. You can record a chip. Um, so if I hit control again, or color again, sorry, and go over to this little tab. If I scroll all the way down, I can hit record palette, uh -huh. and then I can click any of these grayed out and put one there. Or okay. I can record it over something else. So we've already recorded two. I don't remember which ones those are. And the issues you can't label these. <laughs> um, yeah. So just gotta remember. Just okay. gotta remember. Right. Well, that's very helpful. Yeah. When I come in, um, show me the process. When I come in and it's everything's down and dead, and I want to call up my preset. Sure. So I'm gonna work, I'm gonna shut down. So I'm gonna hold okay. this power button for I think five seconds. It'll pop up saying, "Do you want to shut down or hibernate?" I'm gonna hit proceed. So we're gonna shut down. I don't need to unplug it or anything, right? No, make sure you don't unplug until this turns blue. If you are gonna unplug it, you can okay. leave it on. It's just that's almost like a computer sleeping. Yeah. Okay. Um, if you did want to plug, make sure that's blue. It's shut down. Then you can unplug. Yeah. Um, but if not, so I'm gonna hit blue to wake it up, power button to wake it up, and now the tubes are it warming picks up. up right. 
it picks up where you left off. So um, oh, I left okay. off on the color. If if you pull power, it's probably just going to pull you back to this main screen. Okay. Um, but it was remember where we And then were. from here, I hit playback. Yep, you get playback. And then I can But notice go. I hit playback, and that's still up. So you need to get back. You're trying to get rid of that window. Okay. So just hit that. Well, I mean, you can still do playback. In fact, that doesn't affect anything. Sorry. Yeah. So notice the and channel then, fighters are changing. Okay. There we go. And I just bring them up to 100%, and that mm -hmm. is the That's preset. still loved it, yep. Okay. Um, the other way of creating a um, playback, which this one may be better because there's no labels on here. So if we have a look, that's our look we want. I'm going to go record, and I'm going to do playback memory. Yeah. And in here, it's going to ask me if I want to label it. So I'm going to go, I'm going to call this test. I'm going to label it, test, I'm going to hit check mark, works good. Now it's going to ask me where I want it to go. I'm going to go 10. Okay. Okay, we're good. So the way to see those labels is if I, I'm going to go into playback mode. Yep. I'm on page one, we're good, I see my 10. Um, if I go controls and then playback toy, in here I can see that 10 is called test. Okay. One is just called memory because we didn't label it. This is only going to show you a range of 10 at a time. So if I hit this range, yeah. then it will show me all these. Okay. So we cool. didn't label any of those that were down there. Um, all right, I might go back and label them. Show yeah. me how to go back and label them. You just click and hold it over it. Oh, okay. So. And, it, and you have to be uh, stingy with your lettering, I'm sure, mm -hmm. right? Somewhat, yeah. Just because, I mean, you, kind you of only see have a how, few characters, yeah. I think, to be able to really um, actually read it. So. Okay. Um, but yeah, like if I want to relabel this test, I'm just going to click and hold it. It will pop up. Okay. I'm going to call it test two. Okay. There we go. Cool. Um, the ways to delete. There's a couple of ways. My favorite way, uh, the quickest way I like this is with nothing up. Yeah. Is I just go record and then playback memory. And it, there's no data that it's, like it's just going to record it, but there's nothing that it saves. So if you notice, it goes away. Yep. So the other ways you can go record, edit, um, and then erase playback, and then, and then select, select what you want. So I'm gonna erase that one. So. Okay, so maybe cool. This is quicker going. Nope. <laughs> quicker. This was very helpful. Thank you. Yeah. And now my. Uh... Um, 